This is a documentary on the folk artist Lonnie Holly. Lonnie was born in Birmingham, Alabama on February 10th, 1950. An interesting fact was that Lonnie was the seventh of 27 children. He was separated from his mom at age four and spent most of his childhood in and out of foster homes. He then proceeded to run away at age 14 and live on his own and struggle most of his young life traveling around the southeast working as a cook in cheap restaurants. He even ended up all the way in Ohio. He then moved back to Birmingham and settled down with his wife and eventually had 15 children. But what brought him into the art world was the death of his niece and nephew in 1977 in a house fire. This really affected him emotionally. He took it very hard. He even attempted suicide, but he prayed to God and God told him that art was the way out of this hole. He then proceeded to make two tombstones in honor of them because his family could not afford to buy tombstones. They were constructed of sandstone that he had found, then the surface was carved into multiple curvilinear facial structures, almost like some sort of totem pole. A key thing in most of his work is that he only uses found objects because he wants to turn the junk that he finds into artwork and not create more junk for the earth. His yard during his early career was used for his storage place for some of his found objects as well as a place to show his art until drifters stole most of his artwork and sold it to a junkyard in exchange for money for alcohol or drugs. He then took what artwork he had left to the Birmingham Museum of Art and the curator was so fascinated by his work he submitted it to the Smithsonian for an exhibit mostly on artists specific to the Appalachian region. The public took a liking to Lonnie's artistic style and his artwork now sells in the thousands. Lonnie wants more than anything to be remembered as an earthly server because he believes everything on earth and in nature to be art. He is God's servant of art. Music